So I wanted just to, to try to uh, turn the, the, the conversation a little bit uh, to the connection between wealth concentration, risk taking and innovation, which, which we haven't really touched on so far. But perhaps it connects with what uh, Angus was suggesting uh, in, in terms of the importance of thinking not only about income inequality, but also, also about wealth. So what is it about wealth? What's different about wealth from income inequality? Wealth is, those with wealth are more able to bear risk and to engage in risky ventures from the very small scale, like moving to a different location or learning a new occupation, to the larger scale, like, like founding a business. And the, the, the insights that come, come from Schumpeter uh, 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 give us the, if we're trying to think about the dynamism, what is it that's caused all of, the, or, or produced the, all the innovation in, uh, uh, the, the, that we've experienced over the past decades in the IT revolution, there's, there's the, the incentive that Schumpeter pointed to of innovation rents. So, if, if you're able to participate in the innovation club, and we know that membership of that is, is a rather exclusive one, if you're able to bear those risks, if you're able to overcome the kind of credit constraints that uh, Jim Heckman was referring to, then you get innovation. But we also know from a lot of research, uh, uh, part of it stimulated by work of uh, uh, Philippe Aguillon and Peter Howitt, that, uh, and empirical work done by Richard Blundell and others, and John, many others I could mention, the papers always have an extremely long list of authors, but that the, uh, the, the, the pressure to continue to innovate depends on there being sufficient competition from new entrants. So otherwise, the countervailing in, in, uh, incentive is there to protect, to, to use lobbying to protect those rents, um, that wins out and innovation falls and inequality becomes entrenched. Okay, so I think it's really important that we have this dynamic um, uh, 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 idea of the connection between wealth concentration, risk bearing, and innovation. Uh, Jim Stone, in his intro introductory comments, pointed to this kind of sweet spot that we're looking for, which is how do we create incentives for innovation but uh, not produce entrenched wealth concentration. And that's, I think, one of the things that we'll be really uh, trying, to, trying to work on in, uh, in the research that we, uh, that we develop. Uh, 